According to Greek mythology, Persephone, the queen of the underworld, was the daughter of Zeus and Demeter, the goddess of harvest and fertility. Persephone was also called Kore, which means maiden, and she grew into a beautiful girl who attracted the attention of many gods. However, Demeter had an obsessive love for her only daughter, that she kept all men away from her. Persephone's most enduring suitor was Hades, the god of the underworld. He was a tough middle-aged man, living in the dark, among the shadows of the dead. But his heart softened when he saw Persephone, and was amazed at her youth, beauty and freshness. When he asked Demeter if he could marry her daughter, Demeter was furious and said that there was not the slightest chance that this would happen. Hades was heartbroken. However, he decided to get Persephone no matter what. One day while the young girl was playing and collecting flowers with her friends in the valley, she saw the most magical narcissus she had ever seen. As she bent down to tear the flower, the ground beneath her feet suddenly opened, and Hades himself came out of the gap in his chariot pulled by black horses. Hades grabbed the pretty virgin before she could cry out for help and descended into his underworld kingdom, as the gap in the earth closed behind them. However, the whole incident was witnessed by Zeus, the girl's father and the kidnapper's brother, as well as Helios, the god of the sun. Zeus decided to keep quiet about the whole thing to avoid a fight with his brother, while Helios wisely thought it better not to get involved in anything that didn't concern him. Upset and heartbroken, Demeter wandered the earth looking for her daughter, until her good friend Hecate advised to seek the help of Helios, the all-seeing god of the sun, to find her daughter. Helios felt sorry for Demeter, who was crying and begged him to help her. So he told her that Persephone had been abducted by Hades. When she heard this, Demeter was angry and wanted revenge, but Helios suggested that it was not a bad idea for Persephone to be Hades' wife and queen of the dead. Demeter was furious at this insult and deeply believed that Hades, who had only dead people for society after all, was not the right husband for her sweet daughter. Punishing the gods and mourning, Demeter decided to take a long and indefinite leave of her duties as goddess of harvest and fertility, with devastating consequences. The land began to dry up, the harvests failed, the plants lost fertility, the animals died of lack of food and famine spread throughout the country, resulting in unspeakable suffering. When the cries of the people who were suffering reached Olympus and the divine ears of Zeus, the mighty god finally realized that if he did nothing about Demeter's wrath, all of humanity would disappear. So he tried to find another solution to calm Demeter and please his brother Hades. He promised Demeter that he would return Persephone to her, if it was proven that the girl had stayed with Hades against her will. Otherwise, Persephone belongs to her husband. When the clever Hades learned about this agreement, he tricked his hesitant bride, who cried all day and night in despair, to eat a few pomegranate seeds. It was the sacred fruit of the underworld, and every time someone ate of it, even a few seeds, they missed their life in the underworld tremendously. When the meeting took place in front of Zeus, and Persephone was asked where she wanted to live, she replied that she wanted to live with her husband. When Demeter heard this, she was furious and accused Hades of somehow deceiving her daughter. A great fight ensued, and Demeter threatened that she would never make the earth fertile again, and everyone on earth would die. To avoid the quarrel, Zeus decided that Persephone would spend half a year with her husband Hades in the underworld, and the other half with her mother on Olympus. This alternative did not please either of the two opponents, but they had no choice but to accept it. Thus the beautiful girl Persephone became the rightful wife of Hades, and the queen of the underworld.